Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to inherit and modify an existing QR report in Kodu version 12. So we have already added a video of how to create new PDF report as well as new Excel report. So let's see how we can make changes inside an existing report. So for the demonstration purpose, we will choose the quotation that is if I go to the sales menu and if I take a sale order and from the sale order you can see I can print the quotations. So from the print button you can see quotation bar order. So if you click on the print button, the quotation will get printed as a PDF report. So if I open these, you can see it's getting loaded. So this is the report of the sale order. So you have different details like this. So let's see how we can make changes inside this report using inheriting. So let's see how we can do that. So we will go to the pie chart and we will continue our development in the module OM hospital. So if I scroll down and search for my module, you can see this is the module. And as it is going to be have making changes inside the report, I will go to the reports folder. So what we are going to do is that we are going to inherit the sale order report and make some changes inside that. So first of all, I will just add a new XML file to the reports folder. So I'll just right click and new file. So I'll give the file name as sale report inherit dot XML. So I'm adding a new XML file to the reports folder. So you can see the file has been generated. So I'll make rest of the changes inside this file. So from the patient card XLS file that we have used earlier, I'll just copy this encoding and auto tag and paste it inside our paste it inside the newly created file that is sale underscore report dot underscore inherit dot XML. So what I have done XML version 1.0 encoding UTF-8 and auto tag has been given. So inside this auto tag we will inherit the sale order report so if I scroll this up and if I go to the sales module that is default Odoo add-ons and if I go to the sales module you are a CS sales here and definitely the report files will be inside the reports folder and here you can see sale report template so this is the file where the sale report is coming the name is report sale order document so we have to inherit this template so i will go to my file that is sale report temp inherit so here you have to give template id template id equal to so you have to give an id for your report so i'll give the ideas sale report inherit okay then you have to specify the inherit id inherit id so you have to specify which report you are going to inherit so here you can see uh, this is the id of the report that I'm, i have to inherit that is report underscore sale order document and this is inside the module sales so here i have to give the ideas inherit ideas sale dot that is module name dot file name so i'm inheriting this template so that's done so here i have done is i have added a new template that is uh, with id rep sale report inherit and in the inherit id i have specified the id of the sale order report that is module name is sale underscore dot report sale order document so that's done here so that's the basic step you have to just inherit an existing report so let's see how we can make changes then so here inside this template we will use xpath and using the xpath expression we will make changes inside the report so if i search xpath inside the code using the find in path option and if i search for xpath xpath xml is used so i'll just copy this xpath expression so i'll just copy this xpath and i will paste it inside our template so i'm just using it to get an xpath expression and i will just adjust the indentations press the tab button okay in the mission is correct so let's see what has to be changed so if I open that report you can see this is the current sale order report so let's see what we can change so let's see how we can add a new column here under the this date ordered sale person payment terms let's add something here in between 
description and date ordered so let's see how we can do that so if i go to the sale report that is by default sale or template and i'll expand the screen and if i scroll the screen you can see your reference date ordered so if i take the report again date ordered sale person payment terms that is coming from here date ordered sales person payment terms so it's coming from here so the class name is row mt32 mb32 so let's see so i'll go here so class again so you can see this is a div inside the report this is the division so if i take this div so this is the div responsible for this line that is date order sale person and payment terms is coming from this division with a class so th this division has this class so i'll just copy this for giving an export like after this division i have to add something so i'll just copy that division name and i will put it here that is class div class so here i have to give division div with class divot class so that's done so what i am doing is that i'm going to export the corresponding division so here we'll check the division with the class name this and position after so i'm going to add something after this after a division with a class so the code will see okay there is a div with this class okay there is a class and position after i have to add something so i'll just remove this okay so what i have to add so i'll just copy this line itself i'll just copy these things so after this div i am going to add a new div so my new div will come right after this so i'll just copy that command lines and i'll paste it here and if i correct the indentations right okay fine and i remove these things okay that's not needed so what i have done is i have export that is i am checking for a div with class this and if there is a division with this class and i'm going to add a new div after that division so i have to give div class oe same class is given and id test inherit like that i will give an id for the class you can give the id as per your need and here i will give the string as test report customization so i'll just add a text into the report so what i have done you can see i have created a new template given idea sale report inherit and in the inherit id i have specified model module name dot original id and here inside that i have given x path that is i am going to add a new div right after this div so i have to give x path i have copied this class name and i have given the class name here that is div at class that class name is given position after that is i am going to add a new division after this div and that is this is the new div i have added that is div row mt32 mb32 i just give an id for the class division that is test inherit and inside that div i have just printed test report customization so we have to call this file inside the manifest file you know that we have just created this file in the reports folder i have created a new file that is sale report inherit so let's call it inside the manifest file so i'll call it here that is reports slash sale report inherit so that's done so i have called the file inside the manifest file report slash sale report inherit dot xml is called inside the manifest file so now let's restart the service so before upgrading the module so when we have print the report what we get is this so once after the module is upgraded and if you print the report again what you will get is that between this description and this division you will have come something here in between this description and these lines so let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i will go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i will upgrade the module that this is our module that is hospital management so i'll just click on the upgrade button 
so once after the module is upgraded let's see the change so in between if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and like the videos if you like it and we welcome your all the reviews and feedbacks so let's wait until the module get upgraded so you can see the module is getting upgraded so you can either upgrade the module from the front end also you can upgrade the module from the terminal itself so you have to give auto pin minus d in the minus with the minus d you have to specify the database minus u specify the module name minus e configuration file so like that you can upgrade the module from the terminal and save the time so you can see the screen is getting loaded so once after the screen is loaded completely now i'll go to the sales and from the sales i'll print the report again okay i will take su40 say lot of 40 and let's print the report so from here i'll print the quotation bar quotation order so you can see the print is coming okay so i will open the report so if the report is get opened you can see the change so you can see a new thing has been get added here that is test report customization has been added in between description and date order so what i have given in the code is that i am adding a new division after this div and this is thing coming into the code so this is how you can make changes into an existing report so you have to give you have to define a new template inherit the template you have to specify the inherit id so like which template you are going to inherit and you can make changes inside those reports like this suppose if i need to remove this entire column like this if you don't want to see these things in the report i can just inherit and remove it so let's see how we can do that so i'll just come copy this code itself that will see and i will put it here so for now i'll just comment it out so i'll just comment it out okay that's commented so let's see our position after So instead of position after, I'll give position as replace. So what happens will this div will get replaced. So I have given as position replace. So the entire div will get replaced with nothing. So let's upgrade the module and see. So before I in the earlier time I have shown you I am upgrading the module from the front end. Now I will choose upgrading the module from the terminal. So I'll go to terminal here. And from here I will upgrade the module so you can see here you have the auto bin so dot slash auto bin that's done auto bin minus e auto dot conf file then you have to specify the database minus d my database name is 12 db and I have to specify which module has to be updated that is on hospital so this is how you can upgrade the module from the terminal that is dot slash auto bin minus the configuration file minus d database minus u i'm hospital then i will click on the enter button so once click on the enter button the module will get upgraded so you can see the module is getting upgraded there so there is no need to go to the apps menu and upgrade the things and we can just save the time from here itself so you can see module i'm hospital is getting upgraded so let's wait until all the process is executed you can see okay the upgrade image is completed so let's go and print the report again so from here i will print the report again so what we have done is we have removed that division of date order salesperson etc so still it's there i think it's not the report we have printed so let's see what happens so it's there it's there so i think i have to reload the screen again let me check what happens uh, module is already upgraded from here so let's reload the screen and print the report again and see what happens so i'll just print the report once more okay the report is getting loaded and if i open the report it's still there i think some issues with the command i have given anyway ignore that let me go to the apps menu and from here i will just upgrade the module and check what happens so from here i will upgrade the module so let's wait until the module is getting upgraded you can see module is getting upgraded 
I think I have given the right command to upgrade the module from the terminal even though something has been happened in between so let's see you can see module is getting upgraded the system has some issues that's why it's taking some times so if I check the log and see what happens I'll go to the run section in hospital you can see it's getting load so the system performance is not good that's why you can see different files are getting loaded so everything has been loaded now let me go to the yeah it's still loading here in the front end so let's wait until the module gets loaded in the terminal is fine yeah it's coming okay you can see the screen is getting reloaded so let's wait until the screen is completed I'm sorry with the system performance I think some thing is running in the background or something some system performance is not good today so I'll go to the sales mode again and I will print the report and see whether that do has been get replaced so I'll go to the so 040 again and I will print the quotation bar order again and see what happens so from the print button I'll print the quotation bar order and let me wait, let's wait until the report is getting ready so you can see it's loading and if I click on open with you can see the entire demo has been replaced so if I take the previous report you can see we are having date ordered salesperson payment terms here but in the latest report that we have print it's not visible that's what the result of what we have done you can see we have replaced the entire division using the X path so this is how you can inherit and make changes inside an existing report in Odoo so this is the code that you have to do so I'll just uncomment this and I'll just comment it out so don't worry we will push this code to our github repository if you need this code you can just download it from our repository that is if you check our github account you can see development tutorials repository and from that repo you can just download these files and use it so that's all about how you can inherit and modify existing QAP report in Odoo and if you have any queries or if you have any suggestions feedbacks we welcome all those things you can just add it in the youtube comment section or you can just send us directly to our mail id that is odoomates at gmail.com so that's all about this video if you like our videos and if you like our channel please subscribe and press the bell icon for more notification thank you